This demo is to show vCloud Director Object Storage Extension Provider Portal for the Tenant Management Service. Here, we have logged on to vCloud Director Provider Portal as the System Administrator or this su Here, you can see a list of organizations. And when we click on the context menu, we can see a button for Object Storage. Let's click on that. After a few seconds, we can see a list of tenants on the page. The tenant list is ex exactly the same as the org list on Cloud Resources page. Here, we, have, we can see several additional columns, for example, the used bytes, bucket count, and object count for each tenant. And the last column status show, shows uh, whether this tenant is enabled for the tenant of story use. Let's use one tenant, William T1, to demonstrate. When we click on the status, we can enable this tenant for the object storage use. Before we doing that, let's go to the tenant portal of William T1 to see its status. Here, we are on the William T1 tenant portal. We can see from the context menu that there's no object storage button from the context menu. Let's go back to the provider portal. Now let's click the Enable button. In a few seconds, we can see that the tenant William T1 has been enabled for object store use. Let's go back to tenant portal again. Here, we refresh the tenant portal UI. Now, when we move to the context menu, we can see an additional button, object storage. This means that this tenant now can use the object storage. After the page is loaded, we can start to create buckets, objects in this tenant. The provider admin can also disable this tenant for object story use. Let's do that. Here, let's click the status button again, and we click disable. Immediately after this operation, the tenant of William T1 cannot use opt storage. Let's go back to the tenant port again. Here, if we click on any button, like click object count, we will receive the error code 403. This means that current user is not permitted to use the object storage. And if we click the go to VDC again, we will see that the context menu for object storage has been removed. Let's go back to the provider portal again. Here, we can also click on the name of a tenant. This will jump to the Cloudian Management Console, which enables the system administrator to configure the uh, storage usage for this tenant. For example, we can define the group course for this tenant. Currently, this tenant is not set any limit for the story use, but we can do customization on that. This is a Cloudian menu console for the system administrator to do additional configuration.